We are bulletproof. Hey everyone. So I thought I would do a K-pop tag. So I just found a random one on Google, cause that's just how I roll. So I'm gonna answer the questions. Um. So yeah. The first question is your favorite solo artist. Um. I don't know. I listen to a lot of solo artists. Um. I, I guess, okay, I love Jay Park's music. Um, it's like he never fails to come out with something good. So I would say Jay Park. Is that basic? I don't know. I think Jay Park's music is really good. Um, top five bias groups. Okay, I know my top three, and then after my top three, I'll do um, my two favorite girl groups. So my first group, my ultimate bias group, is GOT7. Um, my bias from GOT7 is Mark. Can't point with him right there. The cutie. Right there. Um, then my second bias group is BTS. And my bias is V or Taehyung. And my third group is Kun Kun, K and K. Um, they've been around for like a year. So yeah, those are my top three groups. Um, I can't really like, every other group is like, it comes and then they're like one of my favorites and then a new group comes because I love rookies and I love new groups. Um, and then my top two girl groups are Sistar and my bias is Hyorin and then Twice and my bias is Momo. And I also love Red Velvet. Red Velvet's another one of my favorite girl groups. So I guess I do three for each. So Wendy's my bias in Red Velvet. Um, the next question is, do you ship anyone? No, I don't. I'm not a shipper. I'll admit that now. I don't ship people. But if I did, it would have to be Mark and Jackson. So Markson. Markson? I forget their ship name. I'm horrible, but when they were on ASC together, hilarious! I loved it. Okay. Okay, so what fan groups do you identify with? I guess I would just do my top three. Um, again, so I'm an I Got Seven, an Army, and a Tinker Bell, and I'm a lot of other fans. Like I'm really any K-pop group. I'm part of that basically. I give my love to everyone. Um, how did I get into K-pop? So my sophomore year of high school. So that's like four or five years ago. My sister found K-pop on YouTube, my oldest sister, one of my older sisters, and she found a Big Bang video. And so she found him and she was like, oh, she sent us this video of him. She goes, I'm oddly attracted to Top. Then he had his blue hair, so it was during that time period. And we're all like, oh. And I thought it was weird. I'll admit that. I was like, no, I don't understand it. So I'm okay. And my other sister, she slowly was getting into it. And I'm a sucker for romance, so when you start K-pop, you typically start K-dramas. And so they were watching K-dramas and they were very romantic and I love romantic things. So I started watching a K-drama and that's kind of how I got into it. Because I was watching You Are Beautiful and that made me discover CM Blue. And when I discovered CM Blue, I found M Black and M Black was like the first group that I fell in love with and it was Cry and Stay that made me cry and stay <laughs> so that's how I found k-pop do you know how to speak Korean no I don't I go to school with a bunch of Koreans they say my Korean sounds cute I suck at Korean I sound like I'm speaking Spanish because I took Spanish in high school so yeah I can't speak Spanish have you gone into any k-pop concerts no I don't have any money and um they never come to where I live so, I'm going to go with no. I'm broke and they never come to where I am. Do you have any K-pop merch? I have almost 100 albums. Probably a little over 100 now that I've gotten the new ones. That I've like, gotten recently in my Korea Town Hall. And I just recently got BTS of You Never Walk Alone. So, I own all that. I own a billion posters. I own a lot of random things. I own a light stick. I own the GOT7 light stick because... Um, they're my ultimate bias group, and so yeah. Do you watch variety shows? Yes, I do. I watch Weekly Idol, Running Man, really any show that has my idol, favorite idols on it, I'll watch it. 
my top three biases. Here we go. This one's odd. My ultimate bias is not from God 7. My ultimate bias is from Shiny and it's Jung Hyung. Um, I fell in love with him from Hello Baby, which is a variety show. Go check it out. I love that show. That's how I fell in love with Jung Hyung and he's my ultimate bias. And I love him and I support him and I own all his albums because I love him and he's my ultimate bias and he's hot and he's funny and he's hot and he's funny. Uh, my second bias. Okay, so like for a while I had my top three biases, but people have come and come and come, so I really just have an ultimate bias, but they used to be Don Wu from Infinite, flippin' hilarious, love him, and V from BTS, and then Mark from God7, but you know, everyone's like coming in and I'm falling in love with all these new people, so it's really hard to do top more than my top one, so basically I'll just give you my ultimate bias, Jun Hyung, yeah. What was the first K-pop song you immediately liked upon hearing? So, like I said, I heard CM Blue first. Like, I heard Big Bang first, but I was like, okay, it's cool, okay. But it was CM Blue, which made me fall in love with M Black. M Black was, like, the first ones I fell in love with, and it was Stay and Cry. Like, like literally, those bring back so many memories. And then also, Dalmatian ER, that was another one. Check that one out. They are not popular, they're not around anymore, but they're incredible. A K-pop group you don't really like or don't want to give a try. So, this is Big Bang. I am I really like their music, I'm just not really into them. I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a VIP. So, um, they're really good music wise, I'm just not in love with them. Do you got a feeling that your loof is on fire? The roof, the roof is on fire. Of course, BAP, hands on. Um, who is your least favorite idol, female or male? Not going to answer that because I am a fan, and I don't feel like you should have a least favorite. If you're truly a fan, you love everyone, so I love everyone. Do you listen to solo artists as much as groups? Not as much, but I do listen to a lot of solo artists. I'm sure when I finish this and I answer Jay Park as my favorite one, I'm gonna go. Why didn't I think of him? I really like Elo though. Check out Elo. Tattoo and Rose. They're really good. Eric Nam. I love Eric Nam as well. Oh, one of my favorites. Eric Nam and Jay Park. Okay, sorry, that was the first question. What has been your favorite comeback of the year? Uh, I can't even remember what's been in this year. BCS was incredible, of course. Um, Vic Don. I love Vic Don. Honestly, I can't remember what was in this year because everything's just mushed together. What is your least favorite concept from your favorite group? So, GOT7 is my favorite group. My least favorite concept is Hajima Hajima. Stop it. I love it, but it's my least favorite. Um, has your bias acted in any films or dramas? Jun Hyang, I believe, has not. Who was your first bias ever in the K-pop industry? If you would like excuse Young Kwa because I fell in love with him in the drama, it would be Mir from M Black. If you had a Korean name, what would it be? I have no idea. Um, I think I took this like thing that would like translated my name into a Korean name, and it was Ki Young. So I think that's cute. Who would you want as an older brother? Suho. I don't know, I'm too attracted to see how from XO. I don't know, I'm attracted to everyone. Who am I not attracted to? See, this is why I can't play the smash or pass game that's going around. I'd smash everyone. Um, I don't know. Who would you want as your older sister? Yorin. I love her, she's my bae. Or Unji, she's another one. I love A Pink and I love Unji. Uh, funniest couple? I don't know. If your bias kissed you, how would you react? I'd have his children right away. John Hyung, come to me. Um, if your bias asked him, asked you to marry him, would you? Duh! How would I react? I'd die on the floor. John Hyung, just notice me. I know I'm way younger than you, but it's okay. We'll make it work. Worst looking idol? There is none. I swear, you have to be hot to be an idol. 
Once again, I don't, I don't know. I don't think there's an ugly idol. I don't know. Top or G-Dragon? G-Dragon. Which company is your favorite? Uh, JYP. In terms of look, which group is the best? I don't know. <laughs> Shiny because it has my ultimate boo. I don't know. Tayman's also really good looking. Which group would you prefer to be classmates with in real life? Got seven. Because they're really funny and they're in my ultimate bias group and I love them all. So. Who would you want as a best friend? Yu Gyam and Bam Bam. Who would you want as your boyfriend? John Hyung from Shiny. Who would you want as a friend with benefits? I don't do that, okay? You're my you're my friend or you're my boyfriend? Pick one. My boyfriend. Um, who do you want as a husband? Jen Hyung from Shiny. And okay. Which K pop star do you wish to have a body like? Any of them. I'd really kill for any of them. Okay, I wouldn't kill, but I would love any of them. They all have Perfect bodies that are stick skinny. That way I could eat a burger without feeling bad. Which K-pop star do you wish to have a face like? Any of them. They're all beautiful and everyone loves them. Jorn? I don't know. She's my bae, so. Um, lastly, which group would you prefer to work with in real life? God 7. I feel like those were very simple questions because I just love God 7 and my ultimate. You just kind of stick with your ultimates and everything. So, yeah, those were the questions and the tag to kind of get to know me and my K-pop. So, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you.